everyone welcome back to our 100 day challenge um hopefully if i get this up today then we're not a day behind if i don't then we will be so it just depends on what time um i get going on the editing but i want to show you all of these beautiful tissue papers my grandson turner died for me because he knew i would use them as backgrounds aren't they gorgeous so on my next page, I'm going to be using one of these. Beautiful. Look at them. He was doing Easter eggs, and Deanne said he was having more fun dyeing background pages for Nana than he was doing the Easter eggs. I think I'll use this one here. Because it's gorgeous. Yes. So anyway, um, but today, I'm going to use one of my grungy ones. And you're like, what on earth is she going to do with this. So I'm going to glue it down on my page and then I'm going to see sometimes if I look deeply I can see images in the in the splatter. So I'm going to see what pops out in this splatter and I'll get drawing. And Richard what are you doing today? I am doing I uh, the St. Albert uh, elevators, the green elevators. Mm. But there was a picture taken. I took this picture in wintertime, and there's sun dogs on either side, oh, right, complete yeah. circle. And what I saw in those is I'm going to put angels in the place of the sun dogs on either side. I don't know. I just had that inspiration. So that's what I'm doing. And we are um, out there, Kevin. You guys know that. And yes, I am in my pajamas. And it is not pajama time. But guess what? I don't really care. So if you're wondering what you're seeing is red plaid, it's my pajamas. So, okay. So I'll get this all glued down. I'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the collage piece of napkin on the page here. And I just want to see if you, for a second, can see an image in that. I can. Richard can't yet, but I can. So I just wanted to see if you guys could. And then after I sketch it out, I'll come back and show you what I can see. So can you see her? She's got a little turquoise dress on, no eyes or any features yet. And this is going to be her hair, but I want to make her hair gray. Like, she just looked like a granny to me. So, yeah, I'm going to make her hair gray with paint. It's kind of fun doing this. And it's really quick. It's like you just see it, you take your pencil, draw her, go around with marker, and boom, bam, boom. And that's the way it's going to be, you know? So I'm just going to take black and white paint and mix and make gray hair. Okay, hang on. i got to get over here so you guys can see. So here's her so far. She's very primitive. Miss Thang with her gray hair and her turquoise flower in her head. So now I'm going to do some of my usual elements, like add some, I'm going to add, where is it here? Um, some gold mica flakes, some text. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to add collage some, pe collage, collage some pieces on her. Some gold mica flakes, just play around. And um, yeah, and I'll be back. And Richard, what have you got to show us so okay. far? This was... A picture of of a sun dogs uh, at and then I changed it to angels. See the angels on right there, side, and so and I turn it to sun dogs. And see the pine trees, not pretty. Very nice. So yeah, we're just grooving to um, Andre Day, Andre Day, and singing and drinking tea. No, it isn't Andre Day. Oh, oh, Leanne Lahavas, and Richard is having a little cold beverage and I'm drinking tea and I'm just gonna play with my little friend here I call her Miss Thang so here's my page this is my page that was supposed to be yesterday's page so you can see how I added a whole bunch of stuff that's gold whatever I call that gold oh I don't know where it is now um, but I mentioned it in the last frame I just can't remember and then I took white corrugated cardboard here and pressed it in her hair. Can you see? So I gave her some gray streaks. So she was all hip and happening. And then uh, she's got some text there and there and there and a little heart. 
and I made a flower in her hair from the, there was a stain there, so I just embellished on it. I gave her some pretty eyes, and she looks pretty, and she's kind, and it says, I never knew how much my lot, my heart, I'll do it again, I never knew how much my lot, oh my God. Want me to do it for you? No, I got it. I never knew how much love my heart could hold until someone called me Nana. And that's my Nana. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, Richard's going to explain his from yesterday. These are, he did this yesterday, but I was a day behind. Okay, on mine, I was watching the news the other day and I was watching about Syria. And this woman was on the television and she just looks they were talking about how it's so hard for these people and yet they uh, they need help and they were asking for help and so and so people are closing the doors and some doors are being open for them so in that light of that thought i decided to put on drew i drew this lady and she's really looking she looks really good i mean i you know her look is just tells a story so i put the scripture on here it says keep on asking and it will be given you keep on seeking and you will find keep on knocking and it will be open to you for everyone asking receives and everyone seeking finds and to everyone knocking it will be open Matthew 7, 7, 8. So I thought that was a perfect scripture for this lady and this uh, Syrian people who are leaving a very hostile country. Your pages are, are it's turning more into, like it's turning into, not more into, it's turning into a Bible journal, which a lot of people do, like Bible journals, and they have quotes in them, mm -hmm. and they do art Bible, I forget what they call them, oh. but it's a prayer I think it's prayer journal or Bible journal. People oh. do them, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.